welcome to the KPM Analytics booth here at IBIE. I am going to check out the Alveo Lab and um, show you how it's done, all right? Wait, no. This is, I need help over here, come on. Okay, <laughs> all right, this is done now. Oh, and I am no expert on Alveo Lab, so I have asked Anno for help. Can you please explain how we use the Alveo Lab? Uh huh. I can. I can explain you how we use an Alveo Lab. And we can go through the motions as well. Of course. Uh, basically, the Alveo Lab is a door analyzer machine, and what we are going to do, we are using this mixer here, where we are going to put 250 grams of flour. Mm -hmm. We will hydrate the flour with water from here, mix the dough, and then on this part we will extrude little patties, like little cookies, that we will put here, in this place, which is the resting chamber, for about 20 minutes, so the gluten can relax a little mm -hmm. bit, it has been stressed. Okay, and so we, we stress the gluten first and then we let it relax. Exactly. We so that we can blow bubbles out of it. Exactly, oh, that's the idea. I get it. Okay. That's the idea. Okay, so. And this device or this system is on the market since it was, it was invented by Marcel Chopin, who gave the name to the company, so in the 1920s. So it's something which has already some years on the field. What makes us proud is that we are making this progressing all the time. Right. And do you have uh, updated versions or of this Alveo lab that you would like to talk about? Yes, and, and we have this, this is the new Alveo lab. Uh, we have been improving a lot of features on this machine. And the most recent development we've done made it possible to do something which was impossible before. That is to say, we can now analyze wool with, wool with flour, wool meal flour. Uh, and this is very exciting for us because it's up to really now, hard to analyze whole, yeah, whole wheat flour if any of you have ever you, tried it before. You're bursting the bubble yeah. too early. Mm -hmm. So by changing the parameter, by adapting the protocol, we are now able to do something which was not possible before. It has been continuous because in the year 2000, for instance, we put um, on the market a protocol that make it possible to use on hard wheat. Before it was said that the alveo is not for hardwood, but we do have a protocol for hardwood. Right. So um, I do encourage bakers out there to put in a quality lab for flour receiving and to understand that there are instruments like that out there available right now for you to collect that incoming receiving ingredient data, mainly specifically flour because flour is probably over 60% of your formula. If something goes wrong with your flour, you can pick it up by the LVO lab and you can really run some water absorption studies or uh, increase a certain dough conditioner at your plant, okay? So what other instruments, Arno, would you recommend to put into a QA receiving flour lab, for example? I will also work on the on the mixer lab, which is oh, just right there. The mixer lab. Let's yep. go look at Let's the mixer lab. Let's go to the mixer lab. So, so what what is the mixer lab? The mixer lab is a mixing machine. Okay, so here we have a little mixer. You can see it here. We are going to mix the dough inside and measure the consistency of the dough, the tenacity of the dough. And the good thing of the mixer lab is that it also measures this during heating and cooling. So it duplicates the baking process. Basically, flour, water, mixture, mix it up and then cook it. So with that cooking comes what kind of a graph? We've got a lot of information out of the graph. We have information about water absorption, which is very important. We have information about dough stability. And because we are heating up the dough, we also see what's going to happen during the oven rise, the first moment where the protein weakens, where yeah. the starch gelatinizes. The spring, the, the spring, oven, oven spring, spring. Oven right. spring that's sorry. really important to the height of the product. Exactly, and this also will give you a lot of clue to explain uh, the crumb structure, but also the, the color of the bread uh, or right. the product. So yes. does this just apply to just wheat doughs or 
what other things besides flour can you that's what makes use it, for analysis? That's what makes it a very exciting tool because we have been applying it at the beginning on wheat dough because that's where we come from. But today, for instance, the latest development we have been doing with um, with you, with Bakerpedia yeah. and with MGP, keto we have dose. been working on keto. Yeah, the keto doughs are just a different animal altogether. And when Arnaud and his team, Lena, ran the keto doughs, it was just fascinating to me on how similar yet very different it reacts in the mixing bowl. So I would like to encourage more collaboration among everyone out there working on keto dose to truly understand what is its mixing capacity, what's its mixing ability, um, how can we stress it, you know, how, how can we report how we tra stress it and how that equates to baking performance. That, that is so key to understand this new trend. Um, and besides keto dough, I, I heard that you can use this instrument for gluten-free as well. Exactly. That's I mean, gluten-free is unlike wheat flour. I mean, how do you characterize it? I mean, does it look the same? No, it's again, that's a, a matter of adapting protocols, adapting what we want to see. Uh, we have to say that the first Mixolab was purchased by a gluten-free manufacturer. Oh, the my very goodness. first one. They already, That's when they saw it, they said, okay, this is what we need. Why? Because you can analyze all type of cereal, flour, containing gluten, not containing gluten. And the thing about gluten-free is the water absorption is key. Yeah. That's the biggest thing in gluten-free on how it reacts in a line. Yeah, exactly. So too much water absorption, too sticky of a dough, can't process it. So that's key to gluten-free analysis. Yeah. So um, I would like to point out that if you can't visit the KPM booth here at IBIE today, go on to their website, mm -hmm. KPM Analytics. It's gonna be on um, the description below. And I reach out to the KPM team and ask more of these technical questions um, online, okay? So thank you, Arnaud, for letting, letting me come over today and quiz you more about the reality.